city and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. If you haven't cooked us to death, it's the mugs under the bar there. Uh, I got them. Uh, you can just sit there at the table. I'll bring it to you. Okay. You know, I've been thinking that working in a saloon might not be too bad a job at that. It's warm. There's always people around to swap lies with. The old stove to set your feet on. Uh, I got my talk. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, I guess it's not too bad here, Chester. But it gets to be the same old story. What do you mean? Well, I get awful tired of people, especially men. Seems like the world's made up of men. Well, now, Miss Kitty, we... You know what I mean, Chester. All those whooping, hollering cowboys. And every one of them that hits the saloon wants to dance after he's had a few drinks. Well, at least they ain't fighting. You ever dance with one of them? <laughs> well, no, ma'am. But you can't blame a man for feeling a little spry when he hits town after being out on the trail for a couple months. No. I guess not. Not really. Yeah, and besides, what in the world would you do if you weren't running the long branch? I don't know. Get married, maybe. Well, you couldn't do that. Why not? Well, there ain't nobody been courting you. I mean, well... Mm, no, there hasn't been nobody courting me. That's a fact. Yeah. Miss Kitty... Is uh, it be hard to leave here and settle down on a ranch or something? Well, uh, there's they good men in town. Like Matt, maybe? Uh, a woman would be a fool to fall in love with Matt Dillon. It'd be like trying to light a house with one candle. What do you mean? To go out so easy, so fast. Well, uh, there's some good men on ranches. Yeah, I've seen those country women who come into Dodge ranch wives. They may have been pretty once before they started getting up before dawn every day and cooking and milking and feeding the animals and walking around in the dirt. Most of them, you can't tell if they're wearing gloves or not. I know. What are you doing, Chester? Trying to get rid of me? Get me married off? My gracious, no, Miss Kitty. I'm... Well, I got things to do. And you better get back to finishing up those glasses. 
It's Saturday, you know, and that seems a big night. Uh, oh, well, I'll be done in a few minutes. Uh, Sam's down having his breakfast, and I promised I'd have the place all ready up by the time he got back. Yeah. Thanks for the coffee, Chester. You're, you're welcome. I'll see you later. Uh, all right, Miss Kitty. Chester Wesley Proudfoot. You talk too much. Knocked him kicking with one blow, ain't that the way you tell it? One blow, all right. In the twenty-third round. Oh, now oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. you you couldn't stand up twenty-three round much less fight that long. Oh, yeah, I'm square. I whooped him and I tore the scratch every round. Twenty-three rounds and a beating in every round. Sounds like you must have been a pretty good fighter back in them days. A strong fighter I was. I tell you, it's just too bad, Tom. You're all soft and broke down. Yeah. No, no, I ain't soft. No, you, you are. are. You, you feel that. You feel that. Uh, no. Here, have it. Yeah. You know what your fact, Clay? He ain't so soft as that. too bad he can't fight no more. Ain't it, Brady? Might work up a pretty good match. Tomorrow night, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I can fight. Oh, no, Tom, you ain't done it for a long time, and you couldn't beat nobody. I'll lick anybody you fight. Oh, no, Tom, we wouldn't want you no, to get hurt. Uh, I can lick anybody in the house. Yeah. Come on, come on. Now, hey, now, nah, nah, Tom, don't bother with him. Anybody can lick anybody. Anybody. I don't know, fella. I haven't mind the real box fight. Uh, it don't matter. My name's yeah. Big Tom Bird. I can whip anybody. Fight to a finish, winner take all. Fight to a finish, winner take all. Call him over, Brady. Be right back. <laughs> oh, come on, you bring him on. Bring him on, will you? Yeah, he's coming, Big Tom. He's coming. He's coming right up. Anybody. Big Tom Bird can whip anybody. Even me, Tom. Can you whip me? Any man in this room, just step out there. You better look at me, Tom. I don't care who... Creel, Tom. Hack Creel. You, Creel? Remember me? Hack Creel. I beat you once before, Tom Burr. No, not fair. You, you never beat me fair. I beat you, Blue. I beat you till you was crawling away. It was a foul and dirty fight. You scared, Tom? Is that it? You scared to fight him? You scared? I'll fight him. If you show up. Oh, uh, I'll be there. I'll be there. All right, boys. Tomorrow night, then. We got to fight. Uh, get your money up. Tom, I uh, have to know what's the matter with you first. Well, it really ain't anything serious, Doc. Only I gotta be in good shape by tonight. Well, I suppose you tell me what's the matter. Oh, it happens all the time, Doc, and it sure just goes away all right, but I, I figure you can give me a pill. Sit down, Tom. Well, I wasn't aiming to visit, Doc. But... I said sit down. All right. <laughs> Tell me what's the matter. Oh, it's just them giddy spells, Doc. Sometimes when I get up, I can't walk straight, and that's a fact. Been happening long? Mm, a month or two, I guess. Take your shirt off. 
Well, now, wait, Doc. Uh... Take it off, I think. Oh, Doc. Well, come. Man, get, get some pills out all this fuss. Oh, stop your muttering, Doc. <laughs> Now well, then, breathe in. Out. In. That's fine. Um, yeah. Well, all right, you can put your shirt back. Yeah. Well, uh... Do I do I get the pill now? Yes, I'll give you some medicine, but uh, I want you to do just what I say. Sure, Doc. Just so you fix me up for the night. I want you to rest for a few days. Take it easy. Why, Doc, would it be all right if I started to do that tomorrow? What's the matter with right now? I can't rightly be quiet tonight, Doc. I, I got to fight a man. Fight a man? Hey, hmm. You mean with your fist? Yeah. Why, that would be the worst thing you could possibly do. No, Doc. The worst thing would be if I didn't show up. I mean it, Tom. It could kill you. Why, it's just a brawl that isn't that important. Call it off, Tom. I gotta show up, Doc. I, I gotta fight this man. I tell you, it might mean your life. Aren't you afraid? I was afraid of him once, Doc. Call him afraid. Stuck in my car ever since. But I ain't gonna be afraid again. No matter what it costs. Thing, Mr. Doom. Oh, what's that, Chester? Well, uh, the man on these circuits. What about him? Well, you'd think men such as these, you know, murderers and robbers and such like, you'd think they'd be easy to spot. Oh, they are when they're working. Well, now, that ain't what I mean. I, I mean, you'd think you could tell just by looking at them. I can. No, now, Mr. Doom, I I'm talking about when they're just walking around town easy like, like they was having a day off. Why? Then you couldn't hardly tell one of them crooks from anybody else. Oh, and not if you're lucky. I swear there's lots of folks in this town that's worse looking than these men are. Now, you take old Cass, for instance. And, and, and Tal Dalby, he ain't none too pleasant looking either. Them two is the others. Matt, I want to talk to you. Okay, Doc. Matt, I want you to stop a murder. A mur... What murder? Tom Burr. You got to do something about it, Matt. Big Tom... Well, who'd want to kill a real nice fellow like him? All right, Doc, what's this all about? Well, you know how Tom is whenever he gets drunk, he starts talking about his fighting days back in San Francisco? Somebody's going to kill him for that? I'm afraid it's going to work out that way, Matt. Joe Brady and Hob Clay brought in this fire from St. Louis. Someone named Creel. They've got Tom to agree to fight him tonight. There's a lot of betting going on. Well, what makes it murder, Doc? If Tom Burr fights one round, it'll kill him. I've just examined him, I know. Then why didn't you tell him not to fight? I did, Matt, I did. But he's as stubborn as he is sick. He says he's got to show up and fight. Even if it'd be the end of him, that doesn't make sense. Oh, well, not to you, not to me, but, but it does to Tom. It seems this Creel beat him once before and beat him bad. He's never been able to forget it. And he's determined to make up for it now. Well, what can I do, Doc? Stop it, Matt. All right. Might like to, Doc, but I don't see how I can. There's no law against a prize fight. There's a law against murder, isn't there? Now, look, Doc, I have a hard enough time doing the things the law authorizes me to well, do. Well, you, you can lock him up until the fight's over. What's he done? All right, man. All right. You get a chance to stop killing before it starts, and you tell me it's against the law. Well, what's the law for? Ah, gracious me, Mr. Dunn, old Doc sure did stomp out of here mad, didn't he? Yeah. Seems to me he's been just a little bit unreasonable. Uh, maybe he's right at that, Chester. It's a good question. What's the law for? Thank you. 
Burr. Tom Burr. Oh, you, Marshal. Come on in. Thanks. Sit down, Marshal. Just wait till I sweep these things off. That chair. Uh, uh, never mind, Tom. I, uh, I want you to come along with me. Come along where, Marshal? Back to Dodge. You mean you come to get me? That's right, Tom. I came to get you. Why, Marshal? I ain't done nothing. I ain't no lawbreaker. You know that. They told me you were talking pretty loud and swinging pretty wide on the Long Branch last night. Oh, I... There was nothing to that. You know how it is, Marshal. A man gets a little too much bad liquor in him once in a while, and it makes him act foolish. Sounds like breaking the peace to me. Now, come on, Tom. Get your horse. Now, listen, Marshal, I... I... I just can't go get myself locked up this afternoon. I gotta be back at the Long Branch tonight. There isn't gonna be any fight, Tom. Marshal, I got to fight this man. You can take me in tomorrow, tonight. You can take me in tonight, yeah. But I gotta show up first. Get your horse, Tom. You don't know this Creel, Marshal. He beats folks to death because he likes to. He, he fights foul and cruel. And he laughs about it. He laughed at me once, Marshal. I gotta fight him. Not tonight, you know. Marshal, you're rigging this thing against me. You got no right to hold me. You gonna take me on, Tom? I ain't going to do jail. Hold it, Tom. You got me beat, Marshal. I won't draw against you. That's better. But I ain't gonna forget about this. You'll have time to cool off. Now, come on, let's go. Changing hands, Matt. Tom Burr won't be showing up. Big Tom? Well, he's never missed a fight in his life. Well, he's missing this one. He's in jail. In jail? What for? Well, I'll tell you about it sometime. Don't tell me. Tell them. Who? Brady and Clay and their fighter. They're right on time. Yeah. I'll see you later, Kitty. Oh, sure, Matt. Your name Creel? That's right, Marshal. Hat Creel. I see you heard of me. Yeah, I've heard of you. You come to see me fight? I come to tell you that there isn't going to be a fight. Huh? Now, wait. Well, that ain't your affair, Marsh. Let the Marshal talk, boys. This might be real interesting. There won't be a fight because Burr won't be here. I told you he should have lined up somebody else. I knew he'd be afraid to meet me again. He's not afraid. He's not showing up because he's in jail. You... Listen to this, boys. The marshal stopped the fight. He got more locked up. Well, hey, marshal, you ain't no call to do that. I'm sorry, boys, but that's the way it is. Well, uh, Sounds to me like the marshal's getting a little meddlesome. Oh. I don't like it, marshal. The marshal no, talks no. pretty big about my kind of fighting, especially when he's wearing his gun. Now, the gun has nothing to do with it, Creel. And the kind of dirty tricks you use haven't anything to do with an honest fight, either. You take off your gun and I'll cut you to ribbons for that, Marshal. Yeah, I understand that's one of your specialties. And hiding behind that gun is one of yours. Looks like you have a Marshal with a stripe down his back, boys. The gun's off, Creel. Uh, Sam? Mm-hmm. Here, hold this for me, will you? Sure, Marshal. All right. Any time, Creel. I'll show you good. 
gunfighters. John Meston. Ari Bear is Chester, Howard McNair is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. 